Hey everybody. So I've been asked to talk about HIP42. People wanted to get my opinion on it. If you're not aware, it's currently being voted on right now. That being said, it's a temperature check, meaning that even if people agree that something like this should happen, doesn't mean it's going to. Uh, the company, Helium, just wants to know uh, how people are feeling about it. And that being said, at this point, it's getting about 66% of the vote for um, implementing something like HIP42. So yeah, sure, let's talk about it. Only I just don't want to talk about it by reading out the whole thing. I normally do like to read it out so people can understand and I can talk about my thoughts in the process. But um, I already have uh, fairly strong conceptual feelings about it, so I don't think it's, it's necessary to do that. Before I get into HIP42, I just want to point out a frustration that I'm currently having now, which is I had a helium hotspot miner that had been uh, offline for about five days and I don't know why it was offline for five days there was nothing wrong with it and uh, certainly uh, I found out that there could have been issues related to a stuck block or some other reason but point being is it was offline for four or five days and just about 24 hours ago came online it had only uh, one uh, witness left under the witnesses that you see under uh, Explorer. But uh, it, uh, it, it, it slowly came back on. And just this morning, as it was coming back on, I found out that another miner of mine had gone offline. Says it was offline, had that big red offline, uh, went to check it, restarted it, checked the settings, everything's good, it's up to the most recent block. I have no why, no idea why it went offline, but you know there's so much we don't know about what goes on at the helium network and how the hotspots operate uh, within as well as the network as a whole, and you know that that makes us that, well that makes me frustrated because I'm thinking well why did it just go offline was I making now too much money um, it went to uh, about 0.6 a day, which I was like, yeah, 0.6 a day. I was happy to be making more money. And uh, then it flatlined. So I'm wondering if these algorithms that are being used to look for people uh, gaming the system, did it say, uh oh, he's making too much money. There might be an issue here. Let's uh, put him on that blacklist. Because again, we don't still don't know how the blacklist operates. At least we know that a blacklist exists, but we don't really know how uh, the system works to determine whether there is abnormal activity and therefore what to do about it. Um, are we being then looked at by somebody in support or is it just all automated and we get automatically put into some sort of box and then get tossed out of the box if we check with support to see if there's a problem? I don't know. And, uh, you know, all of that brings me to HIP42, which HIP42 is this system by which they say, okay, well, you can only witness X amount of hotspots, which are listed under Explorer as beacons, uh, if you have uh, this many beacons, which again are uh, listed as witnesses under Explorer. So I'm gonna just reference it as the visuals that we have. Uh, so if we have um, for witnesses 360 uh, over a period of five days, then we'll have, be allowed to have X amount of beacons per day, which, you know, when you look at some of these numbers and I don't wanna talk about the numbers in and of themselves, they may seem good or bad depending where you are, but you know there are a couple factors that I think about, and and then then there's a conceptual level. So a couple factors that I think about is here I just had a hotspot that's offline for five days. Does that mean that if the system's put in place and I have zero witnesses, that uh, 
I will not be able to get any beacons until after uh, I have witnessed at least one time. And that being said, it seems like we're only witnessing maybe one time every day, if not one time every other day. Uh, now, I understand that there's some sort of cap already in place that says we witness at the most four times a day, but I'm not seeing that happen. So if I'm not seeing that happen, what does that mean for me? Again, I am thinking about it from the perspective of being offline for too long. This just doesn't seem like something that's helpful. Uh, and furthermore, because we don't understand how the system is determining how often that our hotspot will beacon and get witnesses, um, then why do we want to implement a system that uses this information to determine uh, how many uh, witnesses or, as Explorer shows, beacons we can have on a daily basis? And as I'm thinking about this in larger terms, what hits me the most is that, you know, we're talking about changes to proof of coverage. We want to change proof of coverage. Do you guys remember the last time they tried to implement uh, POC v11 and how many problems there were, how often the system was down, how often validators were not actually validating information, and we basically had to shut down for a couple days. And this happened over the course of all of November. There were issues going on and on and on and on because eventually they had to implement the system. They had to get it up and running before the end of the year. That is my guess. But do you want to have this happen and just to make sure that your uh, rewards are based on how often your hotspot beacons. And now let's take that into a, a larger scale. So we're basically wanting to limit our rewards, right? We're, we're limiting our rewards based off of beacons. Why does anybody want to limit how much money they make? I mean, the whole point, let's let's just forget about it, uh, you know, in, in general of, of uh, you know, the world and making money. But we all got into helium hotspot mining to make money mining. Why do we want to limit how much we can make mining? I mean, it's a self-imposed limit because we're the ones who are suggesting it or, well, someone suggested it, but we're the ones voting on it. Why would we want to do that? Why Why would I ever say, yeah, I would like to make um, less money than I possibly could otherwise? That just doesn't make sense to me. So why 66% of the people are saying yes to something like this? I just, I just don't get it. Now... Certainly, some people think that this is a way to solve spoofing issues or gaming issues or people who are relayed and not trying to fix their relay. But aren't we already trying to solve that through other means, means that don't inhibit or limit the amount of money we can make? Why do it this way? It just, I don't, I don't get it. We already know there's a blacklist, for example. Um, if you're trying to do this to make sure that gaming isn't happening, well, we're already doing that other ways. We don't we don't need HIP 42 to make that happen. Okay, and so just on a larger basis, a larger concept, I, I just, you know, this whole thing about limiting rewards, or maybe maybe somebody believes that this evens out the playing field. And already I've seen other people who say, well, in low saturation areas, this is going to make us make even less money. So you're talking about uh, where you may have thought that this would help because rural areas would make more money and cities would make less money. Um, yeah, it's, it's not going to do that. It might actually do the opposite. It would just make everybody make less money. And... Uh, then that defeats the whole point of 
why we are trying to improve our setups to be able to uh, get more beacons and more witnesses because you're, again, imposing a limit. Why, why are we trying to do all this work? You're basically saying, don't do any of this work. Why bother? Because we just want to limit how much you make no matter what you do. Okay, so that's my rant. Um, thank you for those of you who are paying attention and uh, understanding that this means I am against HIP 42, uh, both uh, in concept and uh, most likely in application based off of what other people are telling me that this is going to reduce rewards, period, across the board. So please do like and subscribe if you like me talking to you about this kind of stuff. I hope it was useful. I hope it wasn't boring just seeing a talking head here behind mountains, or in front of mountains, rather. All right. Hey, happy mining, everybody.